We are now in segment three, July 2023. The liturgy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good rotation of the earth. May the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you. Welcome to the World Crown. We continue now in part three, the liturgy, and the last part of our World Crown presentation for the month of July. We have given you much to think about and absorb these last five years at the World Crown, and there's much available for you to read in your language. We are at the end of our latest Rising of Providence, which started after World War II and was made public in 2012. I know we are towards the end because the Holy Spirit has made the judgment of God an official public event through the World Crown for the blessing and peaceful reestablishment of good governments under God in every nation. I pray that our Holy Spirit bless you in today's Judgment Liturgy. People are being introduced again to the judgment of God and also to the teaching of being born again. The judgment of God is an empirical, scientifically proven, measurable event. Whether you believe in God or not, the judgment of God and the power of the Holy Spirit settles all debates as to the existence of God who is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. This judgment of God is the first to take advantage of technology. Any person in the world who has access to a computer and the internet can interpret it into their own language. Inasmuch as men and women have preached the impending judgment of God God's judgment has always been in existence and quietly a part of our lives. And when the Holy Spirit wants it to be public, it is because great heavenly and divine justice requires earthly responsibility for ecclesiastical, police, and government records. The judgment of God requires every nation to work with the world crown in creating their final report and a special book one for each national public library. A small liturgy, section 3.1.1. For the judgment of God, we give thanks and praise. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who knows all things, the God who sees all things, and the God who who has reasoned all things. For the judgment of God, we give thanks and praise. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God of judgment and justice, who helps us by bringing to justice the world's most dangerous people. For the judgment of God, we give thanks and praise. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God of prudence, the God of wisdom, and the God of knowledge, who knows every detail and history of our soul's existence. For the judgment of God, we give thanks and praise. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God of the living, the God of the dead, the God of morals, and the God of the resurrection, who raises the soul to heaven, then brings it back to life. For the resurrection of the rebirth of souls, we give thanks daily. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who knows all things, the God who sees all things, and the God who has reasoned all things. For all that God gives us, we give thanks and praise. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. There is only one Holy Spirit, the God of Mary, the God of Jesus Christ, the God of Muhammad, 
the God of Moses, the God of Krishna and Siddhartha, the God of the present and the God of our ancient past, the God of beginnings and who never dies, responsible and caring of animals, plants and trees, the oceans and of all good peoples, prophets and messengers. Section 3.1.2 Do not marvel that I say unto you that you must be born again. John 3, 7 Section 3.1.3 .3. I pray you receive these words into your spirits that they refresh you and help you in your lives and in every part of this world. A reading from MMX Born Again, section 3.2.1, an exhortation. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the peoples be assembled. Isaiah 43.9. Thus says the Holy Spirit. Who are you people who call my attention so much? You are my Orthodox Jews. You are my Orthodox Muslims, my Catholics, my Orthodox Christians, and my Sikhs. You are my Hindus, my Taoists, my Confucianists, my Buddhists, my Krishnas, my Avestans, and my Baha'ists. You are my Lutherans, my Methodists, my Presbyterians, my Episcopalians, my Mormons, my, my Evangelicals, my Free Evangelicals, my Anglicans, my Amish, my Mennonites, my Quakers, my Seventh-day Adventists, my Congregationalists, and my Jehovah's Witnesses. You are my Baptists, my Anabaptists, my Pentecostals. You are my Protestant Jews, my Protestant Christians my Protestant Buddhists, and my Protestant Muslims, and the angels of many good religious denominations. You are the angels of heaven who live between heaven and earth. The earth is your terrestrial paradise, and heaven is your celestial paradise. On this planet, you will live, work, and be born again. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who gathers and communes with the people of each nation and with every good religion and even with the homeless. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who has no name but who is known and loved by many. We continue now with familiar words and learning about the judgment of God. Section 3.2.2 .2. Isaiah 44, 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last, and apart from me there is no God. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God of arches and doorways, the protector of the home and of the hearth the everlasting God who never dies, the God of all things. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, our God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.2.3 .3. A reading from the book of Isaiah 41.10 Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who returns to us all that we love. 
Blessed is our God who has no name, who is known and loved by many. I pray for your families, your friends and loved ones, both alive and dearly departed. I pray for all people who are physically and psychologically sick, asking the Holy Spirit to heal you and comfort you. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who helps to heal us and who limits the harm that can be done to humans. I pray for your homes, your food, your ranches and animals. I pray for your livestock. I bless your beloved domesticated animals and pets. I pray for your children and your families and ask for their blessing as well from our Holy Spirit. I pray so we can enjoy a renewed sense of love for our Holy Spirit, who opposes ethnic cleansing and who has made people around the world his chosen people. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who works through many, the God who never dies, and the God who is always in heaven. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God of spring, the God of summer, the God of autumn and the God of winter, who places the sun high in the sky and makes long our summer days. Blessed is our God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.3.1, a reading from the book of Matthew. All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Matthew 28, verse 18. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Isaiah 41.10. These are the words of the Lord. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God of heaven and of all peoples. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but whom is known and loved by many. Section 3.3.2 I am here to help you, to teach you and edify you. The Holy Spirit will unite you and bless you. Section 3.4.1, the promises of God. God promises to judge the world when your lives are placed in the care of dangerous, immoral people, their creeds and conspiracies. This is the promise of our Holy Spirit, the God who knows all things, the God who sees all things, and the God who has reasoned all things. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.4.2 Yenbinu Welcome to our Judgment Liturgy. The judgment of God is a failsafe which brings clarification, justice, equity, and relief to the people. The judgment of God is a promise from the Holy Spirit that God will judge and restore order to our world when it is overcome. God promises to judge the world when your lives are placed in the care of dangerous, immoral people, their creeds and conspiracies. The judgment of God is an institution which extends back to our earliest origins and in every part of the world. Throughout history, when life has gone bad in any human civilization, with or without scripture, with or without theology, laws, and written commandments, the Holy Spirit has restored order. The promise of the Holy Spirit is to do the same when we have been overcome under any conditions is again written. This is one of the promises of God. We will remember God's justice and not destroy its memory. When courts and law enforcement at every level are unable to detect 
and procure correct justice for the people or have themselves become corrupt. The judgment of God is a promise from the Holy Spirit that God will judge, settle all debts, procure justice that is made difficult and impossible for humans. If religions are unified or separate in their beliefs, the judgment of God is a promise from the Holy Spirit that God will judge the world fairly and equally. We will remember God's justice and not destroy its memory. The Holy Spirit limits the harm which can come to humans. At the same time, the Holy Spirit limits its intervention, testing and weighing the resolve, determination, creeds, institutions, organizations, and governments of humans. When government and life becomes immoral and corrupt, when political, religious, philosophical, and ideological creeds and secret society activities are crafted to conspire against the people and overwhelm them, when human life perishes for political, racial, cult, and occult reasons, the Holy Spirit promises that God would help the people by bringing all things which are corrupt into subjection and judgment. The Holy Spirit promises that God would always judge corruption until life, right government, peace, law, and order are restored. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, whose justice and timing is perfect, and who is good to help us learn from our mistakes, who never stops caring about us, and is always loving and watching over us, hoping we learn to solve problems on our own. Blessed is our God, who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.5.1, Intercessory Prayer. I pray and offer your prayers to our Holy Spirit. I pray for the aged and all for all people who are physically and psychologically sick. I pray for people and all families in every part of the world. I give thanks to the Holy Spirit who makes sure good health, food, and water are abundant on our earth. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, in whom we trust, who brings forth bread from the earth, and every fruit from its vine, and all things that are good to eat. Blessed is our God, who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.6.1, Providence of God. The providence of God is upon our entire world. The providence of God is a testament to the institution which God has been in our lives throughout history. Blessed are them who join with the providence of the Holy Spirit, for such an endeavor is like a marriage in which our Holy Spirit will never leave us or divorce us, and who is a partner which we can count on for the whole of our lives, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. Blessed are they who seek our Holy Spirit with their whole heart, their whole mind, and all their strength. For to such, their wisdom is like a great river which never dries up, or a tree which never withers. We give thanks to our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but whom is known and loved by many names. This next small liturgy is inspired by Psalm 46. God is our refuge and our strength. By faith we believe in the Holy Spirit, the one true God who has no name, but who is known by many. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of eternity is our refuge. Blessed is our Holy Spirit in whom we trust and who knows all things, who sees all things and who has reasoned all things. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of eternity is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord, what judgments he had made in the earth. We will remember God's justice and not destroy its memory. Our Holy Spirit stops wars and brings the arguments of men to nothing. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of eternity is our refuge. Be still 
and lift up thine eyes in prayers to heaven and declare your love and faith for our Holy Spirit. I will love the Holy Spirit with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. In good times and in bad, and in sickness and in health. May the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you. Thus says the Holy Spirit, I am with you always. Amen. Section 3.7.1, The Providence of God. The scriptures can be like a wilderness filled with wolves and words ready to devour you. Holy books are like fields of grass, some green, some dead and dry. And so I beseech you like a shepherd who guides his sheep to graze only in the best fields where the grass is green. I pray to the Holy Spirit in the same manner to guide you through the scriptures, to help you, to give you wisdom, instruction, and learning in any holy book that you may read. I place you in the care of my Holy Spirit, who desires that none should fail, but that all come to repentance. We will pray to heaven for guidance and give thanks and praise to our Holy Spirit. It is right to give thanks and praise. Section 3.8.1, Verbum Day. The judgment of God is hard to get justice. For those who do not believe in God, let them measure the judgment of God to place all their doubts to rest. A reading from the book of Isaiah in the book of Revelations. Israel is now the world. Isaiah 48, 12. Listen to me, O Jacob and Israel, whom I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. My hands laid the foundation of the earth and spread out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand forth together in obedience to carry out my decrees. Revelations 1.8 I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was and is to come, the Almighty. These are the words of the Lord. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who knows all things, the God who sees all things, and the God who has reasoned all things. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.91, Verbum Dei. In our beginning was the Holy Spirit, the God of the beginning and of all beginnings, who existed before us and who has always existed. Since our creation, the Holy Spirit has been God, who without gender and without leaving heaven became the first two souls, the first man and woman. They are one in the Holy Spirit who without a name created all things that have names, who without leaving heaven became flesh and manifested on the earth to give life to our souls, to raise us, to walk with us, to teach us about matters of faith and religion, to live with us, to suffer with us, to die with us, and also to be born again with us. Do not think it strange that man and woman are manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Your souls are also manifestations of the Holy Spirit, and you were made in the image of God, man and woman. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. And God, our Holy Spirit, said, Let us make man and women in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air 
and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God our Holy Spirit created man and woman, in his, her own image. In the image of God created he him, them, male and female, created he them. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who without a name created all things that have names, who without gender became the first man and woman to be with us on earth and in heaven. Blessed is our God, who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Creation is a, a language. Man and woman come from the Holy Spirit. Without leaving heaven, the Holy Spirit became the first two souls, man and woman, him and her. This is another way of looking at creation. Understanding that the Holy Spirit became the first two souls will also help you to understand why history has called them gods. Understanding that the Holy Spirit became the first two souls will help you to accept your own souls came from the Holy Spirit. So God, our Holy Spirit, created man and woman in his, her own image. In the image of God created he him, them, male and female, he cre created he them. Your souls are little Holy Spirits. You are the angels of heaven. The earth is your terrestrial paradise. Heaven is your celestial paradise. The earth is what you make it. Heaven is what the Holy Spirit makes it. In heaven, we are all equal and there is no poverty or disparity. We have to make earth as it is in heaven. Section 3.10.1 the judgment of God is like a man who returns home after a long journey and finds heretics living in his house and has to drive them out. A reading from the book of Isaiah 3.13 and 14. The Lord standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients. I bear witness to the providence of God, our Holy Spirit, who desires that no one fail, but that all should come to repentance. Every nation and religion bears witness to the effects and the writings of the judgment of God. The judgment of God is an empirical, scientifically proven, predictable, and measurable event. Governments, businesses, Religions, social and organizational groups are expected to evaluate the effects of the judgment of God, read the writings, repent, and prepare themselves. Section 3.11.1 New Harmon The words of God are wisdom, power, and give us justice. To the faithful, God's words are sweet like honey, but to those who conspire, God's words are like bitter herbs. New Armor is inspired by the book of Judges, chapter 1. Now after the death of their king, it came to pass that the children of God asked the Lord, saying, Who shall judge the heretics and atheists if they rise up again? Who shall now fight against them for us? And the Holy Spirit said, Ye of little faith, have you not seen that without spilling blood I have delivered you from your enemies? Who can withstand a praying nation? I am quick to help the helpless and judge the oppressor. Make sure also to help each other and call upon me, for how can a father or mother know if their children need help if they are not asked? The Holy Spirit desires a relationship with its children. It also means the Holy Spirit does not want to be taken for granted. We will remember God's justice and not forget its memory. 
and edification, section 3.12.1. Thus says the Holy Spirit, Behold the people of the earth. They are a vast assembly. Their bodies are strong and daily their strength blesses the earth. Behold the people of the earth who work in their houses and toil in their lands and their gardens, on the streets and in businesses. In the temples, the tabernacles, the churches, and the mosques, they pray and kneel before me. Behold the angels, as limitless as the stars, who wisely repent when they know they should repent, who wisely pray when they know they should pray. I, the Lord, can see all things, doth know all things. I know the thoughts and the reason of men and women. I know their comings and their goings, their risings and fallings. Behold the people of the earth who live the lives which God has given them, and when they are expended, they return to heaven, then are born again. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.13.1, Scales of Justice. The judgment of God is like a man who does business. He wakes up every morning and makes sure his heart and his mind are prepared and his scales are calibrated and ready to do business. As the tribulation continues, I pray and give thanks to our Holy Spirit for blessing our lives, our families, our markets, our water and food, and all things that are important to us and which help us to sustain our lives. Blessed is our Holy Spirit who blesses the judgment of God with equity and fairness. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many. Section 3.14.1, and the next I, I born again. I pray to the Holy Spirit, asking for wisdom to descend down into your minds and to give you understanding about the judgment of God and to comfort you in your current application of faith in your lives. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who has no name, who raises the soul to heaven, then brings it back to life. Section 3.15.1 We are in an advent of God, inside which many acts of God can be confirmed. These acts of God are intended to warn us, give us justice, hope, and the reassurance that we have not been abandoned. These are days of great joy for some, and great sorrow and turbulence for others. These are days where the providence of the Holy Spirit makes manifest many revelations, and God judges the earth. Section 3.16.1 Passover The judgment of God is like a city which is blessed with sunshine, good water, good food, and happiness, and people who do not perceive that others are being judged. Blessed are the good people, who are passed over in the judgment of God, and who do not look for the demise of others, and leave judgment to God, for Scripture says, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. All the nations gather together, and the peoples be assembled. Section 3.17.1 Judicium Day. Listen closely and gather together. Which among you has believed our message? Does it surprise you that we still have words which to say and with which to measure your incredulity? Surely the vanity of this world has many times passed its judgment, but it is the Lord's judgment which will prevail. Surely, as earth revolves around the sun, 
and turns on its axis. God will judge tyrants and terrors while people get married and are given in marriage. While women make food and tend to their families, the world's most dangerous people and their organizations will be judged by God. While people go about their daily affairs, God's justice works silently in their support. When the sounds of birds break the silence of a quiet lake, tyrants and terrors will be judged by God. In the early morning, as fish rise to the surface of the waters to feed, tyrants and terrors will be judged by God. While children play and go to school, and while people work in the marketplace, tyrants and terrorists will be judged by God. While a seamstress makes her clothes and a cobbler his shoes, tyrants and terrorists will be judged by God. As people gather inside their homes, temples, tabernacles, shrines, cathedrals, mosques, and churches to pray, fellowship, and worship, Tyrants and terrorists will be judged by God. While farmers sow their seeds and tend to their farms, while important businesses do business, while people struggle to make ends meet, tyrants and terrorists will be judged by God. While mass media pretends to describe our existence, as sports heroes are cheered, as hip-hop music plays, tyrants and terrorists will be judged by God. While the preacher preaches, and even while he sleeps, tyrants and terrorists will be judged by God. While the police arrest minor criminals and judges pass judgment on them, tyrants and terrorists will be judged by God. The judgment of God happens on calm and stormy days when the ocean is peaceful and when it is not. The judgments of God are like unseen ways of justice which bring peace to our earth. In the judgment of God, tyrants and terrorists are brought to justice in their own turn, while the good people are left behind. When the time to judge the earth is at hand, there will be no sensation that anything is wrong. The tyrants and terrorists will know and will feel the judgment of God, which brings justice to our world. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, who blesses the judgment of God, which brings to justice the world's most dangerous people, each in their own turn, and allows the good people to live undisturbed. May your eyes be open. Keep watch and pray. Make sure to work and live with the right mind and right thoughts, never planning harm to anyone. Let your goodness shine and be ready and willing to help those in need. Blessed is our Holy Spirit, the God who knows all things, the God who sees all things, and the God who has reasoned all things, and who knowing all things, blesses the justice that we need to live safe and peaceful lives. The Resurrection, section 3.18.1 Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. John 3.7 As we proceed in the tribulation of God, the just and the unjust pass away. In regular life and during the judgment of God, we all suffer loss of those we love. And it is good to pray for a good resurrection. It is right to pray for a good resurrection. I pray these words bless you and teach you. I pray they are welcomed and find comfort inside your souls. The resurrection of souls are old teachings about being born again. In Western religion and even in the East, these are very simple teachings about reincarnation. The teaching you must be born again returns in its simple form. The purpose of this teaching is to improve our character and return us into a standard spiritual frame of mind. 
rebirth is renaissance. That means born again. Your souls, and not just that of Jesus Christ, have to leave the earth and have to return to the earth. And so we have the resurrection of souls mass. Really quite a simple teaching. Life, death, and rebirth is a cycle. We see it in nature and in our human civilizations. Your local Swami or holy man are not the only souls who return. Your souls return too. And not so you can join a gang or spend the rest of your life selfishly thinking that you're better than other people just because you live in a prosperous country. It is important that we make every country nice because you will suffer otherwise. Prayers and liturgies for the resurrection and the rebirth of souls should be perpetual and standard for Mass and church services daily. May your evening prayers be blessed every day. May our Holy Spirit attend to your supplications. Your prayer to bless the resurrection. 3.19.1 The blessing. For all those who were loved, and even them who were not, I pray to the Holy Spirit for a good resurrection, that their souls be born again, and their sins be forgiven and forgotten. Blessed is the resurrection of souls. It is right to pray for the resurrection of souls. Resurrection of souls affects all people. Blessed is the resurrection of souls by the Holy Spirit, who raises the soul to heaven, then brings it back to life. We must be born again. We live between heaven and earth, and each life we live is judged by God. The earth is our home. On it we shall live work, and be born again. May peace be upon all people. May the Holy Spirit of God help us to move on in the absence of those who would be leaving us. I pray that today's words provide comfort and assurance to your lives. For the peace that we have around the world, and for the justice that keeps it, I give thanks and praise to the Holy Spirit. It is right to give thanks and praise. This ends our liturgy for July 2023. In closing, I pray for your physical and psychological health and for every country. I pray that you have plenty of food to eat and fresh water to drink. I pray for all animals, livestock, and domestic animals. May the Holy Spirit give our domestic animals long, healthy lives and keep our livestock thriving and healthy. I pray for the Holy Spirit to bless, help, and heal our world every day. I pray to the Holy Spirit for a special blessing on farmers and all our harvest and farming activity. I pray to the Holy Spirit and ask for another good blessing the judgment of God, while holding out hope that of those passed over, none should fail, and that all will come to repentance. My peace I give you, and may the peace of the Holy Spirit, which surpasses all understanding, be with you always. Section 3.20.1 Universalism Universalism is understanding and wisdom. Blessed are them who are able to overcome their prejudices. Time, customs, traditions, circumstances, and distance have divided us in our religious perspectives. And as well preserved the ancientness and authenticity of our religions, not the teachings, our holy books have been assaulted by immoral duelists. And so you find yourselves in your current life in a world which reflects great disparity and inequality. But our Holy Spirit and our faith in the Holy Spirit is the same. When we pray to the Holy Spirit by any name, 
Our prayers are attended to by the Holy Spirit, our God who has no name, but who is known by many, the God who never dies. Some people pray to the Holy Spirit as Buddha. Some people pray to the Holy Spirit as Jesus Christ, among others. That is because they believe them to be God and they are correct. They were manifestations of the Holy Spirit who taught you to look to heaven, to the nameless, the Holy Spirit, our God who has no name, but who is known and loved by many for your worship. Answered prayers in every major religion is why religion is so successful on earth. Despite alterations and teachings of dualism, which need to be corrected, there is no God but our Holy Spirit. And each major religion ever established is something very special. And you will never be rid of them. Maybe one day you will be perfect in your understanding of our religious existence intolerant as God is tolerant, and merciful as God is merciful. Religion is not complex. Religion is about peace, about goodness, about morality, harmony, trust, and faith. People in every major religion in the world share these values, and when they depart from them is when problems occur. Religion is about love, that is well understood. Section 3.2.1, The Judgment of Dualism. This month, we are going to make this short and sweet. Don't use dualism as an excuse to draw people into darkness and heresy. Don't teach dualism. For wizards are dualists, and they are always being judged. Okay, we end with some emergency services information. Section 8.1.1. .1. News and information are in a state of emergency. Mass media, political news, and general information remain in a general state of emergency. Health information, business information, investment information, educational information, organizational information, scientific information, historical information, meteorological information, economy information, legislation, laws, and government information are affected. Wireless, cable, television, radio, and the internet are also affected. Prayer for Health and the 9-11 Reminder, Section A.2.1. May the Holy Spirit help us and heal us from all our physical and psychological sicknesses. May the Holy Spirit give us peace that surpasses all understanding. Information on 9-11 keeps changing. I wish to remind everyone that 9-11 Emergency Service Assistance is, if not was, a universal and planetary emergency telephone code. Though it was activated several years ago and people are still learning about it, we are still in a technical emergency as well. And if the 9-11 telephone code has been removed from your country or does not work in your country, Make sure to call your local operator for emergency assistance. 9-11 emergency can be used to access the police, ambulance services, firefighters, and medical assistance. This idea of 9-11 was so anywhere in the world you are, the same emergency protocols exist. The daily page in English or Spanish can be translated into any language in the world. The World Health Organization's emergency information portals in Spanish and English can be translated into any language in the world. The Office of the Director of Intelligence for Interpol can be translated into any language in the world. 
Intercraft Crown World Bank Reserve is the official emergency service for the World Bank. Its website can be translated into any language in the world. That's it. God bless you and have a great month of July 2023.